I told you to name an instrument in a band, you probably wouldn't say the trombone. However, the trombone is actually an instrument that can be used in almost any musical lineup. I went along to Britain's only manufacturer of custom trombones, which just happens to be right here in the heart of Yorkshire. So I'm here on the shop floor of Michael Rath Trombones, where the dedicated team here makes sure Britain's trombonists get the finest instruments possible. Michael Rath Trombones manufactures nine different models of trombones with thousands of different combinations of parts. Each trombone can take anywhere between 30 and 60 hours to complete. Each separate part, of which there are hundreds, is made here in the workshop using traditional methods that take years to master. There's a team of 12 men and women that work tirelessly to construct what are widely considered to be some of the best trombones in the world. The company has been based in Homley since the 90s, and since then have earned the respect of the industry and countless world-renowned artists, such as Mark Nightingale, David Gibson, the Black Dyke Band, and many others play a Rath trombone. I spoke to CEO Michael Rath about why he thinks it's important to have instruments of high quality being made in Britain. The British manufacturing world has a sort of kudos about being high quality, um, and we, we sort of lost that in the musical instrument business a bit. We lost the lost the way a bit, um, but we seem to have put that put the trump certainly the trombone market or the trombone making business in the UK back on the market. Um, so it's important that people have an instrument which is well well made, quality um, helps them perform better. The intonation's good. It looks good. You know, it's, it's just well put together. It helps the player, and that's the most important thing, it helps the player produce the music they want to produce um, more easily. Yeah. Rath trombones are made slightly differently to most of the manufacturers. The trombones made here are modular. This allows the player to pick and choose certain aspects of their trombone, ensuring the instrument is made to fit each individual artist. All trombones are basically made up of a bell, a hand slide, lead pipe, gooseneck or valve, and then the main turning slide. All of these parts can be made from a variety of different brass materials, which give a different timber, sound and feel to the instrument. To make the lead pipes, goosenecks and main tuning slide parts, a large tube is trimmed down to the required diameter and tapered if required. The parts are then soldered together and then scraped and polished degreased and lacquered. The bells are made in two parts, the flare and the spout. The original shape is cut out of a brass sheet and then beaten into the rough shape and is subjected to high heat brazing. The flare and the spout are then brazed together to form the entire shape. However, it is still very rough and has to go through another set of hammer and heating before being polished to a mirror finish. The whole process can take up to eight hours depending on the size and the material. Carol Jarvis is a professional trombonist and has toured with her trombone playing with the likes of Seal and Sting. I spoke to her about why Rath trombones are her go-to. So I think a lot of trombone players uh, play lots of different instruments, different makes from all over the world, um, but there seems to be a bit of a tradition of um, playing the American instrument that was made in the 60s or whatever um, and it's, it's just become a bit of a tradition but to be honest I think if you're going to be British and make a British sound then you should be playing the British make rather than American make so I, I'm glad that the Rath trombones are getting that way now I think it's they're spread all over the world now and it's just based in Yorkshire um, but it's now spread far and wide all over the world and uh, for me personally it is the British make it is the only British manufacturer of trombones so we should be supporting the British sound on a British trombone. Carol then very kindly offered to give me a lesson. So Carol, show me how you do it. Okay, so you've got to start buzzing your lips. Right. Here they go, the mouthpiece. That's it, very in tune as well. And then the trombone is basically just a big amplifier. Go for it. <laughs> That's it. Easy. 
And that's how it's done, kids. <laughs> <laughs>